Всем здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! Я всех приветствую на гранд-финале Bad Boom Classic Warcraft 3! От этом турнире мы видели все, от драмы до комедии. Невероятные яркие матчи, ошеломительные камбэки, крутейший шоу-матч. Ну и теперь самое главное, гранд-финал. Буквально через пять карт мы узнаем, а возможно и меньше, кто заберет 4000 долларов за первое место. И этот великолепный кубок из чистого вибраниума турнира Bad Boom Classic. Ну и, конечно же, я рад вам представить наших финалистов. Первый игрок, который прошел к этому финалу через нижнюю сетку. Легендарный Хьюман, легендарный игрок, потом и крови доказавший, что он достоин играть в этом финале против Хэппи. И это Fortitude! The challenger, everybody, has arrived! All the way from China, let's freaking go! Championship on the line, three maps away. Coming from the lower bracket, tough task ahead. Doable though. This guy ascended from a round of 16 player to world class. Ну и, конечно же, финал для него будет очень непростым, потому что против него играет лучший игрок планеты, лучший андет планеты. Человек, чье имя внушает страх еще до игры. Игроки многие говорили, что мы просто не можем победить его. И это, конечно же, легендарный андет Хэппи! Undefeated for four years. One championship after the next. Raraland one, Raraland two, Dreamhack, all his titles. No one can stop him. But he never faced fortitude on land. Not in the past couple of years. Unadverse human, age-old battle. Tides have turned in this matchup. 40 defeated, one to zero at WDA, at TPL. This trophy on the line, $4,000 as well. The match that we couldn't get at TP League, we get it here at the Bad Boom Classic. Best of five, first to three. Freaking hype. Everything set up. Little bit of a warm up here. It was the old patch where this matchup shifted. Sock and Fortitude both, hand in hand, made sure that Hey, on some maps you don't need an Archmage. Let's go Mountain King. Let's maybe switch into Paladin second. Let's try and go with a lot of hero nukes. Let's bring the tanks back. And they did. And they became incredibly successful. And the patch didn't change that. So, is that now the pinnacle of a month-long journey of the combined efforts of the human race to tear Happy down? Once again, I repeat, until yesterday, 40 had a 4-0 win streak in best of fives versus Happy in the show matches. Yesterday, in that best of three, Happy took the series. And our grand final is on the way. Bad Boom Classic, best of five, Fortitude versus Happy kicking things off on Twisted. So it is actually 40's pick first, Happy's pick second. <sighs> we could write history here today. 40 could write history here today. 40 on the upper right hand side. It was a gruesome lower bracket run for Fortitude. Happy? Showed some weaknesses yesterday. Losing a map to 40 already, losing a map to Lawlion. Today, he's in tip-top shape. 2-0 versus Moon, 2-0 versus Focus. Not dropping a single map so far. And 40. The first match against Focus was... A bit of a liability, wasn't it? Got smacked, 2-0. But his lower bracket run. Moon stood no chance 
at all. And he also got his revenge kill over focus. Let me tweet real quick. So, what do we get? Tweet is out, ready to go. Laboratory creep, golem pull, archmage first, and happy. What did happy play? I didn't see the altar, but it will pop out. DK, no lich and no dreadlord. We've seen quite a few dreadlords here in the past couple of weeks and months, but it fizzled out of meta again. Because the humans found solutions with dragon hawks, and happy apparently doesn't want to go into these dragon hawks. Or versus these dragon hawks. So we're back to DK, not even Lich fast expansion. Both players knew if you want to grab the championship, this match will happen. And if you want to get the championship, you will have to face and beat your opponent here. The main preparation must have been gone into this matchup, into this setup. Fortitude has challenged Happy to countless show matches. Best of five, best of seven, didn't matter. For month and month and month, he got smacked. 5-0, 7-0, no rarity. But at some point, it all changed and he started to win. Again, and again, and again. But here on land, it's a little bit different. Loping. Is that switching it up? I would say Fortitude did not show his A game. Whoops, what's up there? A player's forces are Militia? Spending time in the base? Ooh. That cannon tower rush on Northern Isles will probably not see again. What was that? The first little sloppy play. And it's time. Uh, an issue here as well. For Happy, it's the regular time zone. For 40, usually six to seven hours later. Circlet to 40. Tiny little exclamation mark sold. Thank you, one, two for the sub. 50 months, let's go. Neo's my hero. Okay. Tech on the way. And Expo didn't even, he didn't even start the creep. Happy is buying a lot of time with the ghouls here. 40, not on point in the grand final so far. This is the biggest match of 40's career as a solo player. Nice little steal. Very happy with the coil, second one can't get it. Oh, almost getting surrounded there. Gets out and now shoes on the other foot. 2.5, Happy also steals the item circlet for him. He loves to cosplay as a little undead princess. And came prepared, tearing Fortitude apart in the early game. A player's forces are under attack. Can he brute force this expo? Happy can dodge us around once with that staff. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. Not a good start. Sell it for future. Thank you for the sub. Forty has a lot of stability, but low XP. Similar hero levels as the DK. You don't really want that. The good thing, from Fortitude's perspective, not a single worker died. Until now. No time to creep. 40, a little indecisive. Back forth, back forth. And Happy is knocking on your door again. Forces are under Happy, attack. currently supply blocked. But I think the Ziggurat must be on the way. Keeps the Archmage low, but I think this is valuable, valuable time for 40. Would love to see his tech.
One person gets killed, but tower is coming up. Yo, information in 40's main is essential now. Happy is threatening this position a lot, but he's not getting a grip onto this Archmage anymore. Feels like 40 certainly warmed up, got his act together, but this was only the first wave of attack. For Coronova, you need the Lich, and the Lich is here. What elemental to buy more time? 40 must be tacking. I hope he started it earlier than now at the 7 minutes 20 mark. But all ghouls are heard. Great job of the water elemental thing is. Statue will just negate that. For now. <sighs> Whoa, happy with the tier 3 already. This push is going to be brutal. How can you hold? How many towers? And what's the... the are what's attack. the status of the tech? MK, Paladin. That tech is so incredibly fast. And now the statues did the job. And here we go. Is that the 9 minute death push? Not walled off. Ghouls can enter. Tower's not finishing! Oh boy! 40 got a hold! Somehow! In Fiesque, hiding, but the Destro is up. Water Elemental here, finishing Footman first, Passants as well. If 40 holds, it's a little bit of a miracle. Archmage trapped immediately. Gotta get out, gotta get out, and does. But where to? The shop is at the expo. Did he double click? He did not. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Archmage can't be nuked. Might need a potion. He bought time for towers. First one up. Second one up. Ghoul's getting killed here. He's attacking them on the ground to save his economy. Not the Destros. Archmage seems safe. Gets the level as well. Fortitude, of course, struggling right now. But that's the game. Happy is pretty much all in. The guard tower focus fire need to be on point. Ghoul's still there. Three towers up. There's a lot of skeletons thanks to the Dark Ranger, though. No mining currently, but tech is coming. And at some point, this will be tier three, but he needs more. Needs a couple of gyros. Peasants have to do a lot. Call over. Good morning. No way out. And happy gives you no time to rest. No room for error. And with that tower there in the front gone. Floodgates open. Ghoul still there. A solid hold, but the game fell apart earlier. The expansion was too late. The towers were too late. And the decisiveness of Happy displayed once again. Four more workers gone. GG! Happy starts the grand final with a bang. Leaves no doubt who's the favorite here. Leaves no doubt who's taking the title home. And that was 40's map. Absolutely impressive. With the DK. 10 minutes, the ice cold grasp on the scene, not letting loose here. Difficult situation for 40. This early game was a bit sloppy. Got distracted, happy found him early, as so often the scouting. Little bit of a reality check. Little bit of a reality check. Need bigger and better tools from the box, 40. Was it a few too many games?
Or do you only need to find your groove? That tech timing was out of this world. Happy just moved into a new apartment. When he's playing with the webcam on, you can see the trophies in his back. The WGL trophies, the Rara Land trophies. Might need a new spot for this one. Hope this was a wake up call. That you gotta play it cleaner. Militia was standing around. Mantle lying on the ground, not perfect. And as I said, this was a fortitude map. You have to make happy suffer. Gotta bring the fight to him. Everybody was looking forward to this match at TPL, we didn't get it. And now we do. And it looks... Scary! Two maps away from the Bad Boom Classic title. Creeping too late, Expo too late, Towers too late. Can you fix that here on Tide Hunters? It could be a very fast, very clean 2 and 0. But this map might be an opportunity for Zeppelin drops and tanks. 40s special. He's the general after all. And it is a very new setup. From DK vs Archmage to Lich vs MK. Stormbolt versus Nova. Bash versus Dark Ritual. Happy making clear if you had any thought of creeping that lab. Let's not do this, eh? Hey? Let's just agree that you're not doing this camp because I'm watching you every step of the way. And 40 does not. His specialty, it's a funny styles clash actually. Happy all out aggression, always pushing. Never let your opponent's game unfold. 40, stability over everything. Late expansion doesn't really matter. He's usually not the one to be greedy. Happy absolutely is. You see it displayed in his inventory already. TP sold. What will prevail? Lich with claws and... He's the best customer of the marketplace on this map. MK gets level 2, Lich already on the way. Ring and Claws here, but it's two peasants up for grabs. But just as the Acolyte made it clear that you're not creeping the lap, Mountain King says, Nope, this is my turf here. You are not setting a foot into my front yard. Sick boy, thank you for the 28 month. A player's forces are under attack. Creep goes through, but no level 3. Who focuses better? Where's the Nova gonna end up on? We do have some skeletons here, but as I said, stability over everything. New militia called, Happy is getting kills, and that's level 2. Can't prevent it. And with that, the aggression lowers. Time for a reversal now. Happy's expanding too. Usually 
You have the pendulum swinging back and forth between human and undead who cancels which expansion better and faster. But that is also with water elementals. No water elementals here. Creeps getting involved. Tower is up. Hard to commit. But maybe you don't want to commit. Maybe you just want to threaten. Slowing things down a bit. The town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. And that works quite nice. Second claw. And Lich is only level 2.1. Huh? Creeps still up. What is that? All of the creeps? <gasps> oh, 40! That's an opening! Look at he! First ghoul dead! That's the momentum you need! A player's forces are under attack. Skeletons expire, but the scout is there. Happy bottom right. And 40's tier level 3 is unfolding. Triple, are you kidding me? Triple claw! Oh, that's a, so much damage. 50% bonus damage. 40 takes the risk at the shop, gets the boots, gets the big one. Wand of Illusion won't help him here too much. As I said, stability over everything. Rather than contesting for the turtles, trying to move away, gets the deny. Oh yeah, he is... He's online now. Last hit. Gets it, 40. The last hits are working. The ghouls are falling. The bashes are arriving. This is a different fortitude than what we've seen before. But Happy is here. Nova and the surround sticks. But a sweet counter surround, that is. Ooh, gets the footman with the Nova. Okay. And skeletons there immediately. For the Dark Ritual. Triple do. Thank you for the sub. Expo up both sides. Ooh, that was quite a slaughter here. Three peasant kills, but always on the cost of something. Skeletons expire too. That footman is safe. And Illusions did a good job. Can't be caught now, though. Tech is not finished. Scroll of Regeneration not in the inventory. And ghouls are here again. A faster push, as we mentioned. Relentless aggression. Workers are falling. But as long as the Expo's up, it's quite fine. Happy sacrifices one ghoul to get rid of that region. way more even than the game before and this is all the calm the before the storm are under attack. fortitude strongest suit something like figuring out expansion and tech timings and then using footman couple of workers dead so shredder had to be bought fortifies this expo. Tier 2 has been reached. Is it Garks? It wouldn't surprise us. We've seen it before. Waiting in the wings now. Wall off. Trying to establish that wall off with the blacksmith and the farm, but no. Free reign still. Shredder can make up for a couple of losses. It's in the end only footmen. Peasants. Trying to get to him. Rune Bracers. Ooh, that's huge. 
Rune Bracers is huge. And Lich has no TP. And how do you get out now if the block is fine? Playing around the bolt. Yep, little sidestep. But the cooldown is off. Now, hammer to the head. No experience for 40, but the Lich is benched. On close to level 4. Almost 100 seconds. 40 is has arrived in the grand final. And Happy's Greed bites him. No staff, no TP. Lich back from the tavern immediately. And that is a lot of resources that you usually need for the defense. Blood Mage second. The path is clear. Hero focus. Banish, Bolt. Maybe later Holy Light. But here is the first push by 40. You slaughtered so many of my peasants. I am here to return the favor. 40 has a town portal, but he wants to cause as much economical damage as possible. Two acolytes dead, one ghoul dead. And he wants to rotate out footmen anyway. Happy throwing the coil. Every coil that's used defensively can't be used... Uh, defensively can't be used offensively. We have a fiend transition, by the way, which is interesting because the norm for a long time was Garks. Not the case. That feeds Happy up to level 4. Interesting to see. Similar to Labyrinth yesterday. This is no... Frost Armor. And if you have to play Fiends vs. Knights with no Frost Armor, that is indeed painful. Happy switching gears, a little bit of creeping. Blood Mage out, Siphon Mana. Most importantly is the Ring on the Mountain King and the Rune Braces. And another attack. Happy's item, Boots of Kel'Thalas. Might be nice for a possible Dark Ranger, but nothing else. No staff on 40. And the nuke is here, blocking the Lich a little bit. DK trying to follow, but there's no Unholy Aura. But all of a sudden, the ghouls have arrived. Slows him down with that Nova. Boots of Speed can't save everything. And that is a TP. Not throwing any bolts anymore. Not trying to get out with luck and a bash. No, no. How far are the techs? Gyros up. The first one. Get a little scouting information out. Happy's charging up. Reva! Thank you for the sub. Happy waiting for the big item. Not. Of course it's the big mana potion! And things are getting dicey. Where's the night production? You can't stop this push anymore. You might be able to distract, but you can't stop it. Forces are under attack. A town is under siege. 40 has to throw everything into this defense. Ghouls have arrived. A cannon tower is here. Knights charging in. Full mana mountain king. No siphon anymore and also no banish. Blood mage in from the left hand side. Needs a little bit. We get militia. We get the shredder. We got the cannon tower. And happy is running into a wall, isn't he? Rune brace is now on the blood mage. I like that. Fuel that dwarf. Heal that dwarf. All that normal damage everywhere. The fiends aren't made to fight this. And Happy feels like he's on a timer. Sick defense. Lots of costs, of course. Happy pulls back, takes the creep spot. That's level three. Love to see how 40 was scouting the production. Is still scouting the production. Seeing that Happy's prime unit is Fiends, not Destros. Never overcommitting on Gyros. But waiting a little bit, reacting to your opponent, Knights is the solution. And things are getting a bit odd now. Statue caught by the creeps? This is where the Lich dies. Maybe a little bit more now. Flanked with the Knights, left hand side. Mountain King still has lots of hammers to throw. But where will the hammer land? On the DK. 
Of course, everything else can be coiled. Little bit of a surround. He's trying to knight. There was... Oh, he's still there! The Holy Light! The DK gets the kill! Okay, 40. Door to the Equalizer is far open now. The second tavern revived by Happy. And we have ourselves a game. 40's night movement is outstanding. Twenty food lead. What a difference compared to Twisted. Mountain King. My caster colleagues on the main stage called him B tier. Ha! Ridiculous. Still. Need that heads up play at all times. Pelly, Holy Light, Town Portal ready, and the red spot goes to 40 with heal wards. Absolutely necessary now. Sick escape. The only thing that 40 still needs. Oh, Divine Shield? Didn't. I wasn't able to steal anything, but I see Banish, Bolt, Holy Light. Any targets? Last hit with the Pally. <laughs> so 40 got the heal wards, destroyed the ring, and got the last hit with the Pally Hammer. Next level. There's still one power level for Happy to be unlocked, and that is Casters. We haven't seen the Undead base in a while, so we can't really say if we see Banshees or Necros. Yes, you heard it right, Necros. We've seen it in their group stage match. And that is Happy's new tool. It's not a meme anymore. This strat is arriving in the meta. Late game necro wagons. Cars paved the way so happy can run. The damage mitigation of cripple is insane. The frenzy damage boost is insane. 40 needs breakers now. A player's forces are under attack. Or tanks. He's the general after all. Forces Happy into a TP. And now he scouts the Necros at the very least. Mortars. A Mortars the answer. Not so sure about that. Pally got a big mana, by the way. Going for the Necros, respects them, silence on the Mountain King, Invul Potion, clap! No bash, no more, was retraining, and this is the weapon of mass destruction when Happy has no scroll of healing. Clap, clap, clappity clap, lots of AoE, the Frenzy is working, the Cripple on the Mountain King is doing a lot of work, and that movement speed on Knights. In case you haven't seen Cripple before, there you go. Mountain King in trouble. Invo Potion was used before. Is there a way to save him with the Holy Light? There is. Always a chance to go for a town portal in case things get dire. And now it is. This Necro play looked better in the group stage. Happy eyeing up the red spot. 70 food, 80 food. Has a scout on the left hand side in case Fortitude is going for another expansion. 40 constantly scouting as well. Notice he has a little bit of time. Frenzy Lich. Pew! 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 Did you guys see if we have disease cloud already? A player forces are under attack. Oh my god, another claw. Forty is not in position. Deforestation is real. Lots of space in the back. Frag shards 
are applying to cannon towers, by the way, but he needs repair. Mountain King in to buy time. Just as this night. Every necro you kill takes away two cripples. Oh, but happy trying to lure him into that choke where the wagon is safe, where the necros are safe. The thing that he lacks with necros is damage. Skeletons are there, all right. They make up for it and Frenzy makes up for it to a degree. Lich has a TP and 40 wants to force it. We got Siege Wars now. Mortars on the one side, wagon on the other. Still a million knights. Going for the DK has an invo potion. Same goes for the Dark Ranger. Siphon Mana, by the way, has arrived on level 2. And that usually means unlimited mana on a well-controlled human army. And this is Fortitude controlling this army. So there we go. Movement speed advantage is on Happy. And we can confirm it's no disease cloud. What a nail biter this is. 20 minutes. I will exhaust my skip the ad button or snooze the ad button. So get the subs in for the ad free experience. My best advice I can give you get the subs in to watch this ad free. Lich close to five, Dark Ranger close to three. Siege potential is big. Mountain King is five already with that clap. Half cadence. Taking that advice, thank you. Coil Nova but staff silence coming in. No clap at the moment. Open battleground more or less. Who's prevailing? Uncharted waters. Knights are starting to fall quite a bit. Level 5 and level 3, there it is. Fiends with frenzy, great damage output, but it's only piercing damage against knights. 40, marching forward, 84 foot, doesn't want to go into tower range though. Oh, and the coil nova is strong. We do have sanctums now. And this is the reaction to the reaction to the reaction. This spell must be online soon. These skeletons, of course, can all be sacrificed by that lich. It's all free mana. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. Big mana potion on that MK, but nothing to heal himself except the paladin. What a match this is. Sick knight safe on 40. 89 food now. And slowly but steady, these necros are running out of steam. This has it all. Real time with this sick execution and strategies with all the tech switches. Oh, holy light, where are you? Here we go, last second. Woo -hoo -hoo. But the mortars might be the kill. The mortars might be the key if they're safe. You need to keep them safe. It's so many of them. Oh my God, six mortars. 40 is not willing to continue fighting. He got the supply lead still, but he's paying tons and tons of upkeep. Is he over committing to the mortars? I can't believe I'm saying this. This is what Warcraft 3 is all about. Fabi, you're 100% right. Game of the year already, epic battle. Game of the year so far, what a game. Chat's going nuts. We are getting closer to the finish line. Constant siphon, always defensive holy lights, by the way, never use it aggressively. Clap to catch happy a bit off guard. That's how you even out the movement speed advantage. Level four on the blood mage. Main base is empty. Happy scouting left hand side. 40 scouting left hand side. Shop control fortitude. Disease cloud is working overtime, by the way. Heal scrolls invo potion. 
40 holding on to that mana potion for such a long time. He has to figure out that a gold mine is being haunted at the bottom left hand side. Stormbolt Siphon over and over. As good as the Mortars are against units, against heroes, they're pretty trash. Caster Wars, it is an AoE everywhere! Whoa, there was quite some kills on both sides. Happy ties up the food, but has to portal out one Necro and all these skeletons not part, not part of it. High ground? That could be a sick high ground position, especially for the Blood Mage. The statues are trying to heal. But it's a lot. Silence on the Blood Mage, can't use it right now. Divine Shield on the Pally, Devotion Aura as well. Holy Light is here, no silence. The Clap is doing tons and tons of damage. Info Potion Force now needs that big Holy Light. Still level 5, close to 6, Lich in trouble! Invo potion for him as well, Happy's falling apart! The HP bar is all into the red territory! Happy's units are melting against this damage! How long can he hold on? Can he bank on that left hand side? Or is 40 gonna close it out? Knockout punch, Lich a bit far forward! Punished immediately! Is that it? He's going to the shop! No way he does this again! Are you kidding me? Over and over and over again, he saves his heroes. Out of this world. Is that wasted opportunity? He needs more holy light. Was that the missed throw? Haymaker by 40, but happy dodges. Siphon over and over. Take these coils away now. Yeah, and take that shop away. No more statues. Time for destroyers now. So little anti-air. Happy destroyer bus. The last transition. No TP on 40. He wanted to knock Happy out, but the resistance is strong. Oh my god. 40 still mining, but does he have an answer? Pally in trouble. Needs the staff ASAP. Can't afford a hero loss now. Hero focused the answer. Not really. Uh oh. Did... Dimitri find the answer again. The fifth tech switch in this game. Lich survives on 0.5 HP. Staff is really paladin out. He's kiting the destroyers so far that they don't have mana anymore. And the supply gap is growing. But Fortitude's expansion is gone and Happy is the only one mining. Are these gyros enough? No mana on happy side this time. Destro's melting. The next tech switch in this game. Will we see every single unit or what? Are and now, do we have a tank? Observer, show us the bottom left hand side. The next destroyer. The gyros are too fast. Happy is down to 40. It's a knight! The token knight takes out the expo. 40 kiting all across the map on the right, but the knight couldn't be answered. This is why everyone wanted to see this matchup. Nobody's mining. Both have a lot of sustain. 543 versus 644 and Happy is closing in on level 5. A player's forces are under attack. Peak Warcraft. It doesn't get better. No matchup is better than this and currently no player is better than these two. Last ditch effort. 40 is trying to long distance mine. But where is the hope? Skeletons, maybe. Hero nuke, of course. The undead soul, but you can't nuke if your opponent is magic immune. Avatar for Cosmodan, for 40, for the Alliance. Oh, Paladin stepped out though. How long can he stay in this fight? Oh no, not stepped out. It was a knight. I'm sorry. Banish. Is it time for the hero nuke? 
Mortar shots raining down on Happy. Siphon is here. We're waiting for the knockout punch, but Happy taps out. 40 ties up this series. We're down to a best of three. And this is what we've all been waiting for for weeks. What a game. I think I have never, 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 never seen so many strategic reactions in terms of unit choices than in this game here on Tight Hunters. Out of this world, both. Lich vs. MK. Ghouls vs. Footman. Into Fiends, into Knights. Into Statues, of course. And happy, your necros are beautiful, but they've been countered. 10 gifted subs by Jay Celerex. Flipstar, thank you for the six months. Into Mortars, we've seen two or three gyros. They came in when they counted. Brute Force Necros couldn't kill the base, countered by Mortar teams. Then we go into Priests. Then we have wagons to counter this. Mortars at the end. Gorgeous Warcraft. The destroyer bus didn't work because the gyros were there all of a sudden. Five gifted subs by Dargok. Much love. <sighs> There's no better game than this. And now... How do we proceed? How do we proceed? Is Happy getting deterred from Necros and switches back into Banshees? Vabinok, also 10 gifted subs, let's freaking go! Hype Train! Oh yeah, this game deserves a Hype Train! That knight at the left hand side, still you got it. Not only dominating FFA, also chat co-caster. <sighs> so honored to see this live. This Warcraft makes me cry, goosebumps. Dream final. Meta defining. <laughs> Light against dark, indeed. Oh my god, I'm shaking. So this raises the question. You know me. And everybody who saw my letter streams knows I'm the biggest fan of Necros and Cripple. And I might be biased, but... Aren't Banshees the answer? If you are facing... Mountain King, Blood Mage Pally. MW, thank you for the prime. And again, I exhausted the ad snooze button. If you want to see this series ad free, get the subs in. It's worth it. For this game, for this series, for this tournament grand final, it is worth it. Some very nice messages towards me. But this is not about me. This is about these gamers. About these absolute legends. Official Aaron, thank you for the prime. Zimmerling, thank you for the gifted sub. Is Inferno afterwards? Hell yeah. Kevin already agreed to postpone the matches. We are here until this grand final is over. And then we do the Dach Championship. Concealed Hill. Five euros by Medic. 40 you can do it. Skinks, thank you for the gifted sub. Anonymous with the gifted sub for Pink Candy Troll. Thank you very much. Guys, you have some time right now. Please go to C underscore A underscore K underscore E and thank this man for the tournament. 
without these people at the official streams, none of this would be possible. Thank you, Glitchtrip999 for the sub and noob down for the bits. Round three. I'm sorry, I missed the first hero choices. Is it MK vs Lich again? Glorious setup. So, Concealed Hill is 40's choice. We go back and forth here. So far, <laughs> the map choices didn't do the picker any favor. Mountain King it is, Lich it is. 40 established Concealed Hill as a human map. When it was one of the anti-human maps for decades. Well, this map isn't a decade old, but for a long time. He made the creep work. Thank you, Admiral Ironheart for the prime. Hype train still going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. This is so hard to creep because there's poison, there's the spell, and the null does a ton of damage. Jiminy Cricky, thank you for the sub. This is also not easy to creep for happy, by the way. So, this expansion here takes the toll. Link gifting a sub to Luke. You are both wonderful human beings. Oh, 40. Forgot the ring. This is getting really exhausting. Two and two. Thank you for the sub. Lich, not going ultra aggression. Saves that for later. Make sure that level two is here. And with that, the creep is rather simple. What's the item? Ring. Of regeneration. S tier item. Hawk says it's C tier. No way. Two base, two base, MK Lich. And this time happy with the foot off the gas. First level three. How many humans has Happy destroyed on this match? Link, thank you for another gifted sub. With this Lich, with the Nova. A player's forces are under attack. You know this harass is going to be brutal. When you're facing a level 2 Nova. Let's go. Oh, he blocks the entrance with the footman so the skeleton can't enter. But what does he do in the main? J Celerex, five gifted subs again. You are mad, dude. Thank you. Ghouls are here in the main where 40 might not expect him. Happy always has a plan B prepared. And this has to be defended. It's not gonna be easy at all. Call to arms use. This is a lot of economy damage while Happy's expansion is untouched. Happy got him where he want to have him. This time also Tally Staff. Oh, can you still get out though? Footman set up a trap. Oh! Hero kill on level 3 again! Through the forest! But the base is an absolute shambles! So what's worth more now? Mountain King levels or human economy? Ooh, I don't know who this is better for to be honest! Lich can be bought back in no time, especially... With the tavern being so close to the base. And that's exactly what's happening here.
40 is definitely stabilizing. Without that hero kill, the map is clearly in Happy's favor. A player's forces are under attack. Disengage TV from this disengage from disengage TV with the five gifted subs. Sponsored by Gord VPN. Creep check by Happy. Got the staff. He made the precautions and the preparations to not be killed right away. But again, he falls to the mighty hammer of the dwarf. And gets another ghoul killed. More and more and more ghoul kills. A player's forces are under this is key. This weakens every push down the road. Tech timing is once again of the essence. And with this Ring of Region, this Mountain King reigns freely. Sick block. Can't pass. You shall not pass. But he always finds a way. Be water, my friend. Doesn't even need the next bolt. Happy has had enough of this. Zeppelin it is. And you know, you know the moon Zeppelin micro. Imagine this. 15 years in the future with Happy's Micro. Because anti-air is rare. For quite some time. <sighs> Zeppelin drop. One tower up, but it's only an arcane. 40 scouts this. He's been doing this to his opponents plenty of times. So maybe he also knows how to counter this. Great, great, great plan B by Happy. He oftentimes over ran his opponent with a telly staff. That opponents didn't expect. And now a classic on Concealed Hill. Zeppelin pendulum attacks back and forth, back and forth with the Zeppelin and the drops. How do you defend this? The Expo got the tech, by the way. Oh, the Shredder. The Shredder is in jeopardy. Needs a lot of repair. Reduces the surface area. Lich in trouble. You can't bolt the Zeppelin. But main thing here, Shredder survives. Thank you, Tim, for the sub. An ad is coming in eight minutes that I can't stop. Get the subs in to watch ad free. Can only say this so many times. Again, it's the Blood Mage. 40 is super low on gold, but tier 3 has started. He needs a lot of production building, so this is what is exhausting his lumber. The player's forces are under attack. And this is, of course. Many, many, many hammers. Can you slow d What did I say? Yeah, lumber. If you... Oh, 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 these hammers, dude. These hammers are just so sick. But what's the solution? Of course, if the DK is not on the battlefield, he still gets XP. But he can't coil. Set goal. Oh, whatever. I'm done, man. Jacob Doe, thank you for the sub. A player's forces are under attack. This is probably the best anti-MK play. Oh, don't tell me. He forgot about the Zeppelin for a second. Almost punished. Another gifted sub by Doom Hogan. Thank you. 40 needs to get his lumber under control. He can still spend the gold in items. He desperately needs invul potions. Wouldn't be too bad to steal it away from Happy. This time, by the way, Garx it is. We haven't seen them before. This requires a reaction, and that reaction is Gyros. Soon, 40 will have upgrades that he needs. Upgrades in buildings, always pretty lumber intensive. Lich never got to level 4. 
DK couldn't level either. A player's forces are under attack. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Resources are evening out. Now at the shop as well. Upgrades and buildings are so lumber heavy. Units rather not. SNS with the two gifted subs. Hope you're doing fine, mate. Small reminder, if Fortitude wins this series, Todd is painting or coloring his hair blue. That's a lot of gyros. Pally online. The later the game goes, usually the better it is for the human. No dreadlord. Happy staying on two heroes for a long time. Gyro micro, so hard. Can never overcommit. We're getting in there now. Oh, Dreadlord has arrived and 40 maybe didn't see it coming. We're fighting for the red spot. Next shockwave ends up on all the ghouls. Need gyro reinforcements quick. Dreadlord will exhaust his mana. Oh, trying to own this blood mage now. Is there healing? There's no silence now, of course, as he decided to go for the Dreadlord. Nuke, coil everywhere. The observer seems a little bit overwhelmed. Paladin in the north has a little bit of a potion. That's sick. Who survives the air fight? Griffin? Oh boy, the banish coming in. But what saves the blood mage? Nothing. Nova takes him out. At level two, Siphon is delayed for a bit, but the air fight goes to the gyros, opens up the sky for the griffins, which will then again dominate the air and the ground as well. Gyros chasing. Should they maybe turn around? Neck and neck fight. Absolute slaughter. Level 5 Mountain King. This hammer might decide the game again, but 40 has to pull back and heal. Maybe not the gyros though. They might still be hunting. Oh, that's safe. 40, 15, food ahead. His forces are under attack. Two armor upgrades for Happy. And that is necessary. We go into mass air here. Griffin Aviaries up. Few knights. And Happy wants to win this economically. With another base. Red spot for the flute. Good for griffins, good for gyros. Dreadlord not level three yet. Lich not level five yet. But he has a heal scroll, invo potions, heal potions. Two minutes 30 till the ads that I can't stop. Can you make these expenses into another base when 40 is preparing 80? A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Happy tried to lure the creeps uh, to the high ground, but uh-uh, 40 is not having that. The Blood Mage! The Blood Mage needs levels! If you could shift your criticism for the Observer, please, back towards this amazing game that we have, that would be beautiful, thank you. Town is 
under siege. This fight is gonna be so crazy. A player's four Eight four hours into the broadcast, we get 80 food air fights. But Carrion Swarm isn't three. And 40 is establishing a position at a fountain. High ground possible, but air units don't really care about that. Big AoE shots! And Happy's level two Dreadlord is the weak spot. So is the level two Blood Mage. At least he can still fuel the Storm Balls. Ruby, thank you for the sub. Go Neo, thanks for the coverage. My pleasure. Happy. A player's Expanding and pushing. Towards the main base that was once the main base and it's now an expansion. Happy's expo here on the bottom right hand side is also toast. Like there's no chance to ever hold this. Probably on either side. Eighteen minutes in. The town is under siege. One base, two base. Happy. I'm not sure if that haunted is up and mining. And by the way, this town hall in Forty's base is still mining. It was only workers. This was only workers. And oh my god, Gyros have siege damage by the way. This is not bad. He's going for the Haunted. Is dodging quite a bit. The Shredder is safe. Haunted Goldmine. Gone in a sack. This fight is crazy. How many can he take out? The first heal squad is gone. Happy is losing so many Gargs. But 40 at the same time also heavy losses. How much of that was economy? And how much of that was Gyros? The most chaotic fights. Economy is looking a bit rough. Dreadlord 2.9. Oh my god, he needs the level 3. And the creeps are not giving him the level 3. A town is Gyro bombs, we have to mention this. They mess with your micro. That's why it's so hard to play them. If you research gyro bombs, you automatically prioritize. Like, not air. We've seen some human fights where all that damage of gyros with two control groups of gyros end up on the ground, and that's not where you want it to be. Gags, of course, have the prioritize option. The town is under siege. So what I'm saying is, you just can't send them in with a click, which obviously makes the fight a lot harder. Oh, Happy is so close to level ups. And the scouting is good. Love that 40 is constantly bringing the Shredder. Might bite him later on. The last big item on the map goes to 40. What's it gonna be? So many amazing ones. The middle seems to be... Concealed Ring of the Arch Magi. Not bad. Third attack upgrade. 440. Another 20 minute game. So exhausting. Oh, that hammer was a bit unnecessary, but a kill is a kill. Ah, 
second unnecessary bolt. Is that the liability? Finally level 3 on the Dreadlord and level 5 on the Lich. Is that the turnaround or is this too many gyros? Ideally need to split them. Who wins the air wins the match. DK caught Siphon. Quite some units still left for 40 in the air. Happy is losing unit after unit. Gotta take care of the heroes 40 and then this is your game. If the Griffins reign supreme, this is the most damage you can throw on heroes. Banish Bolt, Holy Light, Griffin attacks. Doesn't get any better. 40 is 70 foot up. He's claiming the concealed hill. He's conquering that hill. Blood Mage death though. Happy has to do it via heroes, but the ledge is being caught and holy light the coil again Losing my mind. How many heroes did happy save this tournament with nothing left on the HP bar? But at some point even he runs out of option dreadlord dead close to level 6 mk Cosmo Dan is the knockout punch Close to level 5 Pally as well. Players forces are under 40 owns this map and 40 now owns the high ground while he's still mining on two bases. Needs the invo potion but it's just delaying the inevitable, isn't it? What's supposed to save him? Holy light! Griffins for the win! 6 and 5! GG! Back to back wins for 40! And we got a human! And an offline tier 1 tournament! It gets happy on match points. One more. One more to write history and become the first player in four years who can win a series versus happy on LAN. <laughs> this was more about execution than it was about strategy. Fewer tech switches. All about execution. The Zeppelin play vs. Mountain King was a nice idea. And it slowed 40 down. But just because you slow him down doesn't mean that you break him. And you know it. You all know it. You know it, I know it. The entire world knows it, that we've been here before. This guy is eating match points for breakfast and for dinner and for lunch, in that order. Just because he's pressured now, doesn't mean that this is over. We just broke 4k viewers on Twitch and I'm pretty sure another K on YouTube. 20k viewers live on the mainstream and here. Phil Raisin, here we go. Thank you for the sub, 14 month, 40 is a god. So great to see someone beating happy. Also fun to see the new human style. Exactly. There is 1000% people that will be so foolish and so low brained to blame this all on balance. But 40 and Sock, they did it before the patch. And I tweeted about it before the patch. We got proof. Happy has to come up with another solution. The Zeppelin play was nice. What was his map? Northern Isles. Northern Isles and Hammer 4 would be 5. <sighs> Unreal. If one person on this planet is able to A, withstand the pressure and B, come up with a solution right now, it's him. Necros look good. 40 came in with the griffins and this is so rough for happy now like what do you do fiends got countered hardcore
Garks got countered hardcore. This is so tough. Earlier Dreadlord 3. Dreadlord was relatively late. Not lose the hero in the early game. This happened twice. This cannot happen. I leave the room to the real legends. I would love to know what's going on in this big brain right there. Little bit of a break to think about it. What can you do? Is it time for a Dreadlord first? We haven't seen it yet. You could also approach the game as you did Tide Hunters and switch to Banshees instead of Necros. I wouldn't know how to approach this. If you are really wild and feel like you're out of options, you could play a Crypt Lord. But I feel if we see a Crypt Lord, that is a great sign that Happy is desperate. 40 doesn't really have any reason to change things. He got a great opening with the Mountain King, he got the stability with his footman control, and then he can react to his opponent wherever the game is going, whether it's Fiends or Gargs, he just has to scout it. Break over? I am very, very, very glad that the organizers are giving the players breaks. Or maybe even force players into breaks. Pishna, thank you for the sub. TNX, thank you for the sub. Phil Raisin, thank you for the sub as well. I did that already. <sighs> it's time. We are one map away from Fortitude dethroning Happy. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> I am I'm legit sweating. <laughs> One more for glory, but you re you know that this is just revealing Happy's final form. When the pressure is on, he's the best. Dreadlord, DK, Lich, Cryptlord. All possible. Answer. Now, back to Lichcraft. Okay, no surprise here. Stay with the MK as well. Same setup as before. So it's not about the early phase, Happy seems of the opinion, if he plays it better, he wins this game. It is Happy's map choice, by the way. But 40 picks up momentum. First game. Remember how the f game started? How the series started? Happy put him in the trash can and showered him in the toilet. That's how the series started. Drink some tea to support 40. <laughs> Grand. First blood, fortitude. So, is it the key to keep the Lich safe? And should you play Frost Armor? I think this is now the two big questions. He tried it with moderately early aggression on Tight Hunters, and he tried it with late aggression on Concealed.
didn't really work. And so we cross. The classic Northern Isles approach. The bases might be cross base, but expansions, rush distance is really, really close together. <sighs> Only evasion on the lich, but maybe that's exactly what helps him. Whoop! Little exclamation mark. Nova for the last hit. This time, no staff, no boots available during this harass. Ghouls falling. Peasants on the left-hand side getting greeted by a Nova. Ghouls hungry. Peasants falling. This will delay the expansion for sure, but 40's militia is here. No time to rest, but I think this is the approach, right? You can see Happy's reaction clearly. More defensive lich. Be more careful. Which is, ironically, also what gives this new power level to 40. Don't rush and brute force expansions. Prior to this tournament, Fortitude won WSB. A tier 2 tournament. That tier 2 curse was broken. But this is LAN. This is 10k. A player's forces are under attack. This is tier one. Only one shop. Boots and circlet. No staff. I guess 40. It's not the perfect early game. But it's relatively fine. Level 3 unlocked early. Todd in the chat is singing the peasant song. My dude, I got a, I got a little song advice for you. How about I'm blue double D double die? If things continue this way. Ghoul pressure, nice micro, peasant saved, and this one as well. Forty is playing out of his mind. This ghoul pressure didn't work. Forty is not letting go of this momentum. So far. Lich inventory, fantastic. Happy is not exposing the Lich to hammers. And Happy looks... A player's forces are under attack. Very unlike Happy normal looks. Oh, but maybe the surround and everything changes here. Footmen are in position. Trying to fight out. There's more storm bolts. There's certainly a chance to fight out of there. Is there a way? No! Okay! Exclamation point! Happy fighting back. This was more Emperor style. As the TP is gone. Still lots of ghouls down. And few ghouls only, eh? huh? Is that fiends again then? Replenishment potion, by the way, cancelled immediately. So Lich only on a little bit of mana. MK is back. Careful, mate. Early skirmishes, swinging a bit into Happy's favor. Oh yeah. Don't we all want game five? <sighs> Happy is way, way, way more stable than before. But if you're stable, you're obviously not aggressive. 
And if you don't harass a human, that tier 3 is scary. I don't know. You have to find the middle ground, the sweet spot. Usually Happy is pretty much perfect at that. Finding a went of mana stealing. Nice to see. Level 4 unlocked. And again, Dark Ritual 2. Seems to be of the opinion that Frost Armor is not it. But uh, he was on the last map, he was struggling to get a level 4 Lich for a long time. And that of course depletes your mana pool quite a bit. Now we got level 2 Dark Ritual. Now you got went of mana stealing. And now you got some confidence again. <gasps> Not like this! No Zeppelin for you, Happy. Trying to outmaneuver him, trying to get in range. And he got it now. Massive Nova. For once the football war all clumped up. Still getting kills. And he realizes this is Fiends. And that paves the way for the rest. So, combine the good game, the good parts of Tight Hunters with the good part of Concealed. A player's forces are under attack. And at the moment, there is no solution to the Zeppelin. Oh. We got a Zeppelin on both sides. <laughs> My god, that fiend! What the hell? He's just evacuating! The Lich can't Nova, of course! You don't want to expose him to web, though. DK out. Both players Player with the Zeppelins. What a save. Look at this footman army. One region scroll. And they're all back to green. Okay. Charge up again. Fiends were falling. That's expensive. Happy banking a lot on 50. He got the rune braces, by the way. And ain't that a grand item. Blood Mage one more time. Happy would love to have this item. He'll look envious at the undead inventory. This is the most attack. even game so far, I'd say. But we have a lot of... Do we have defend? Not really, right? As the main target. <laughs> the main target is obviously... Coming for the main threat is coming from Nova. There we go. We got web up, so happy has a solution for this air. Don't want to engage with all the footmen as it's free XP, and the Zeppelin is an absolute lifesaver. Prioritizes heroes. That's a deny. Well done. Nice exchange. 40 is at a thousand gold. Waiting for tier 3. Occupying the tavern is a Dark Ranger. forces are under attack. Yes, it is. With silence this time. Also an adjustment. Prior to that, it was Black Arrow. <sighs> Precious Rising. Invo Potion, Heal Skull, Unhappy. Orb as well, level 2. 40 breaking up. Keep now with Knights. And Knights are nuts. Can't believe that he's not spending Frost Armor. Silence is good. Rune Braces is good. Paul Benson sucks with a sub is good. Happy spending every single gold coin. It's looking way better than before. But 40 has been in these shoes before. He has no town portal though. Oh, Blood Mage can't reach the shop no more. Emperor with momentum. We did this before, and with a weak Blood Mage, this strategy might fall apart. Lots and lots and lots of fiends before the knights are here. Only level 1 hero, of course. 2 euro super chat by Wall Street level, thank you very much. 
supply is dead even. A cannon tower one more time. That cannon tower saved the expo on Titan Hunters. This is about the knights, and he's committing. Shredder killed immediately. That would have been a big help in this fight. We switch to clap, and Happy is satisfied with what he got. Or oh, scared of these knights. One kill. <gasps> Almost two. Almost two. Player's forces are under attack. Oh, even the supply. But Happy's levels are getting there. We get Black Arrow, we get Coil 2. Ring of Region now on this side as well. And 40, now the ball is in your court. You need a solution long term. Is Happy sticking with fiends only? Is there any kind of transition? He has the chance to transition behind this to Necro's Banshees. Oh, Banshees it is. Banshees it is. The Necro train has stopped. We're going back to Banshees. All your knights shall belong to us. Happy's hero levels under... Uh, 40 hero levels undervalued. For once, happy not too lucky with the items as he gets the unholy aura that he already possesses. So, we got anti-magic, we got curse, we got a lot more tools. Maybe ideally you want both caster types, but it's so rough. Into the expo we go! 40 still busy with the red spot. Endurance Aura is sick for already race car knights to get more movement speed on top. Fine. Trying to get the knife. Fiend. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Happy is getting further and further ahead. More invul potions. Health stone as well. And now it's tanks. Expansion left hand, right hand side. Movement speed is sick. Sees his opponent here. Tanks are coming. 1-1 one, one upgrade. Not perfect. 40 still has 700 gold. Feels like he's yet to decide where to spend it on. And Happy is the one to portal this time. No big damage done. Trying to get some XP possession. Oh, he got both. Oh my God. That was a split second away. A player's forces are under, under attack. Siege. And now we got tanks and now we got knights. And now Happy got the momentum. Oh, ho, 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 that possession. Only one staff. If you can't beat them, possess them. And that's the expo broken. What do you do with a hundred gold now? Counter pushes with tanks. That's supposedly it. But he got the wagon in position. Oh, it's not looking too grand. With the expo gone, you can't trade TPs anymore. It's too ineffective. And all of a sudden, a Zeppelin in the hands of Happy looks scary. The town is under siege. Happy now with the token knight that wrecked his economy on the on tight hunters now he can use it himself 
40, the general, desperately trying to do damage with tanks, but the upgrades aren't there. First attack upgrade only now, and the wagon is constantly being repaired, and if he attacks them, Zeppelin. At least he's able to prevent the third one, but he can't break this 12 o'clock. Forty needs his strategic genius now. Forty no TP, only one staff still. Sixty food for seventy six plus a couple more possessions. A player's forces are under attack. Ten PM by the way. I think ten PM. It is mad that this huge brain knows pretty much exactly what to do after being slapped around twice. A player's forces are under attack. Yo. <laughs> You can you can put a number in front of these odds for fortitude. Levels aren't there. Army gets possessed. Forty is constantly in check. The knights at least he got the bottom right. But how do you deal with this army? Happy is a little low on upgrades, but I guess he starts working on it now. 40 will also be supply blocked. Can finally creep a bit. Level 5 MK. Usually, hero focus would be amazing. But there is anti-magic. <laughs> How is Happy struggling against a no-name human? Nice. See what you did there. Tanks in the main, tanks at the expo. Trying to create some space. The tanks are expensive at that stage in the game when you're only on one base. Very, very, very expensive. They gotta do a good job on the right hand side. Ghouls trying to stop it, Echoes trying to repair it. But this is a few kills. Stormbolt basically insta -gib. How do you stop possession with bolt or staff? Or if you kill the Banshee. Oh, Blood Mage on the menu again. Happy smelling blood in the water. Seeing that there's no TP. Oh, wonky. And we'll potion pass and that Blood Mage is safe for now. But again, no TP, only a potion. And 40 can't fight this. Straight up, there's no chance. Heal potion used to survive that coil. But it's only a matter of time. Is it not? I think it is. Switching targets to the Paladin now. And a slow but steady device. Good save here. But only for so long. And now you would love to have a second staff. Oh, wouldn't you love to have a second staff? 40 taps out, that was a bit too much. Match point one, defended. And that's what he does best. Come up with solutions to unsolved problems. GG! And now, as always, this makes you think. We get one last map in the Bat Boom Classic on Hammerfall to decide it all. Banshees. Stability and Banshees. And now it's up to you, 40. Nobody said it's easy to write history.
the pinnacle of Warcraft 3 right there. How would this game look without the two possessions? I'd say similar. I'd say similar. Just maybe a bit longer. Diamonds are formed under, pressure, formed under pressure, and this is what 40 has to do now. Two absolute legends. I think everybody was quite afraid after we saw how Twisted looked. And then to have the guts to switch the performance or do a 180 at the performance and then happy also. Others would be crushed after the losses on Titan Hunters and Concealed. Not him. This game another one-sided one. If happy wins, he's winning pretty clearly. One more. <sighs> How can they not be spent? We will recap all the stories when we go into the game. Are we going into the game now? Hell yeah. One more! Either Happy stays undefeated and claims yet another title. Or we are writing history in Dubai. So, Happy is undefeated in land tournaments for four years. Focus took him out at DreamHack Anaheim. Prior to this tournament, 40 had a 4 0 win streak against Happy. That Happy broke in the group stage. Happy is winning every single tournament online for a long time. He has defined this era. Humans haven't won a tier 1 tournament since... You know what guys, I actually have to look this up. I don't remember this. Infi. But was he random at WGL? When did he start playing random? A full-time human. I think the WGL wins was Infi on random, so it was WGL Summer in 2020. Another four-year streak that could come to an end. Fortitude is a legend in the making. Or... Oh, we go Archmage, by the way. Or he's yet another person that gets close but can't seal the deal. Archmage it is. No MK here on Hammerfall. Happy sticks with the Lich. Different matchup. Archmage, of course, different strength and direct brawling. He's not that good. But what he does provide is Blizzard. Water Elemental versus Ghouls early, Blizzard versus everything, and including bases late game. Lich, of course, stays the same. Happy is the one to fast expand. Illusions, nice to have. People are losing hope already. Seeing this Archmage. Happy these illusions help him a ton to identify where his opponent is. Same for the skeleton. 2.4. Ring of protection and cloak. No damage on the Archmage. Happy is nigh. This time no Stormbolt. He can play his aggression game, Happy. Of course no TP. Nothing. Happy's close. Didn't get it as it was just an illusion. Turn around, pick up the item. There we go. We got Illusion on the other side now as well. Instant brawling. They just can't take their hands off each other. 
How many peasants will fall? How many militia will die? How fast can you race up to level 3? Archmage under fire. Saved into a cloak. But these peasants are hurting. The economy is hurting. But he was waiting for the level 3 to get out the water elementals now to wash away the filthy scourge. All workers dead. A player's forces are under attack. All workers dead. Is Fortitude running out of steam like so many others before him? Happy's never getting tired. Happy's never running out of ideas. This game looks broken. Forty has the right idea and goes for the revenge kill. If he stops the undead expansion, game is wide open again. And he does. And he does. Lich is at home, but Archmage has the boots. No mana anyway, or low mana. Where other humans crumble, 40 unfolds his real strength, and that is footman play. Happy with that kill, supply blocked. And this Archmage and these water elementals are an absolute weapon. Two level two water elementals all about their damage now. Acolytes being killed. The big question that we don't have an answer to right now is Is Happy teching or not? No, he's not. No, he's not. And he's losing a bunch of ghouls. And 40 is expanding. After a Oh no, he's not. Wasn't there something glowing? Maybe there was just a ziggurat? After a demoralizing early game, with the Lich killing multiple workers, 40 strikes back. Footman in the base can't get that ziggurat. The deciding match of the Bad Boom Classic is already incredibly wild. Ghoul split. F 40 anticipating this with called militia. What a call to have the militia here. Takes out one ghoul, takes out another. When is this archmage finally running out of mana? That's probably what Happy is hoping for or asking for. Great distraction with the lich not leveling, not losing too many footmen. The damage is on ghouls. A player's forces are under attack. This recovery is, under siege. is unreal. These guys are bringing Warcraft 3 to another level. Ooh, and if Happy's getting caught here. I think he's just power washing him away. Again, Creepjack at the Hydra. This is what he was missing before and what many were missing. Archmage has a TP but runs it off. That poison is biting Happy, but footmen are getting killed. Deny! Oh my god! god. <laughs> but there's always a Nova. As long as there's a skeleton, there's a Nova. Fight ice with water? Or water with ice? I don't know, man. We're trading footmen and ghouls like it's nothing. An absolute race to level 4. Archmage has reached that already. Who's playing an Archmage like this? So wild. How many times did we see an Archmage fall to Lich Nova? To ghoul surrounds. Not 40. And the tech has started at the 8 minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> Happy established that expo once again. 40 cancels healing over and over and threatens more attacks. Of course, he's never running out of mana with that level. Did Happy... What's Happy's tech timing? <gasps> this attack can't work. 
Lich under fire, ghouls under water. Can Happy repair? He must. So if this Acolyte falls, he can still not tech. Oh my god, is it happening? There's no... There, oh, is there a Nova? I oh, know, there's no Nova. Acolyte's getting killed. Fortitude's tech lead must be minutes. <gasps> can he close it out? Can he kill this Lich? Water Elemental expires. The other one is still there. Can't get the block out. But the... What's left? Guys, what's left? This Lich is almost suiciding here. The ghouls are being taken care of. GG! It happened! It happened! The streak is over! Four years shattered! Fortitude! He went through a masochistic phase. Challenging Happy over and over and over and over again in his show matches. Don't force me, Cap. GG! He did it on the big stage. Show matches online are one thing. But he made it. The first Chinese player to leave China in years. With a clear mission in his mind. No excuses no more. I want to take you out on land. Classic. Это был великолепный гранд финал. Пять карт и становится чемпионом невероятного турнира. Fortitude, бери твой кубок. Это твой кубок. Ты чемпион. Can't believe this is real. I cannot believe this happened. God gamer. God gamer. How is he not jumping through the roof? Final. Legendary five cards. Казалось бы в пятой карте не было шансов, но в итоге. А где у нас есть переводчик? Давайте парочку вопросов просто эмоциями поделиться после такого легендарного камбэка на пятой карте. Как он себя чувствует? Что у него в голове сейчас? 你现在感觉怎么样？因为第第五地图好像非常非常难，啊，对你来说就是，哈哈，对，我挺我挺呃，热，我挺不舒服了，我挺呃，热的是你别再说话了。Это видно, что радость не передать словами. Ну что, поздравляем еще раз, партнерский И на этом великолепном моменте мы уходим к аналитикам, потому что они должны рассказать, что пошло не так в пятой карте и как это возможно было капекнуть. Everyone tried and everyone got so close, and they had their leads and we were building this momentum and happy flipped the switch and took the series he stood no chance and guys like he defeated him in every possible way mk openings he and stock they redefined this and it looked so good we've seen tight hunters was it's one of the all-time great games that this game has ever seen. He played knights and gyros and griffins and priests and mortars with cannon towers, without cannon towers, with the blood mage, without an archmage. And then we start game five and it would be so classic to just throw the game. And he dashes out an archmage and chat loses hope. And he didn't even need a second hero. Archmage, Water Elementals, Levels, Timings, Footman, go! His decision making has reached new levels. And Happy, for the first time in four years, is not taking the trophy home. The humans, after the switch of Infi, were Missing an S tier gamer. Fortitude is that S tier gamer. 
He's bringing that thing home to China. Happy stole so many titles. Away from them. <laughs> cool to see their bond. And man, what a guy. What a guy. It was always happy. Lin, one, two, zero, and the Night Elf of the Week. Add fortitude to that list. I can't believe that it happened. I can't believe that it finally happened. 50 euros by J. Celerex. What a series, what a couple of players, what a cast. 40 god, GG everybody. Sammy, thank you for the two years. I want Todd's reaction. Todd gets blue hair, everybody. Blue hair, Todd. And it's not that... Happy didn't try anything. Everything. We didn't see the Dreadlord first, but apart from that, we saw pretty much everything. Ghouls, fiends, Garks, Destros, Banshees, Necros, Wagons. This was peak Warcraft. Peak Warcraft esports. Hey guys, I just won $4,000 and beat a guy who seemed untouchable for four years with the race where everybody said this race can't win tournaments. From the lower bracket. From the lower bracket. Focus smashed him 2 0. Oh, this can only go wrong. This can only go wrong. <laughs> champagne for 40. Well deserved champagne for 40. And in classic Warcraft fashion, we get plastic cups, dude. Ain't that grand. Bad boom. Classic is over. And it turned into an absolute classic. What a day yesterday. What a day today. It started slow. But we got the coronation at the end. Level 10 Torrent Chieftain playing, here we go. Warcraft 3 has a new superstar. A charismatic, handsome, social young man who terrified a lot of people with a lot of tanks. But he shows that he can do it all. This Warcraft 3 history right here. TH Godo, thank you for the five gifted subs. I hope that this is motivation. Ah. Uh, Спасибо всем Бакче, что так поздно, уже время не ранее, вы смотрите наше соревнование. Uh, 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 <laughs> и если я могу это сделать, то любой из вас может это сделать. The Olivera of Warcraft. Romantic, let's go. Schollinger, thank you for the gifties. If I can do it, then everybody can do it. If I can do it, then anyone can.
what an inspiration to everyone. I really, I really want to point out how we were laughing about the 40 versus happy show matches. Don't force me cup, like how many, 20 in a row? 5-4 happy, 5-4 happy, 5-4 happy, 4-1 happy, 5-4 happy, multiple times a week. We thought, okay, maybe his viewers want it and he's sacrificing himself for the viewers, but no. He just got better and better and better and at the end, he's overcoming him at the greatest stage. Oh, fuck him.